so it's really important in selecting a country. I know you um, both have uh, adopted from specific countries and I work with specific countries and um, people will select an agency based upon the countries that they work in. And um, some people will call up our agency and they'll say, you know, I want to adopt from the Philippines. Well, there's only certain countries, certain agencies that work in certain countries. So um, I know some people may not have a country in mind, but it's important that you select a country that you want to adopt from and, and do a little research if you're not, um, if you don't know what country you want to adopt from. I think you guys probably knew um, like you are passionate about special needs, so you would know what countries have special needs. Um, you, you do have to select a country because, you know, there's paperwork specific to that country. Your home study has to be done specific to that country. The U.S. government has to approve you for that country. You know, there's visas and all kinds of things specific to that country. And um, so that's, that's important. How did you guys pick the countries that you wanted to, to adopt from? Well, my, when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, my husband worked in the Philippines and not for an agency, but his company, um, they would do a little bit of charity work for the local orphanages. And so when we talked about it, we always knew we wanted to choose an Asian country, but we didn't have our hearts set on one particular. But then when we came to the agency that we ended up using, um, China was a program that they specialized in and it was very reputable. So we felt great about going with China. Yeah, and we um, started out in Russia just because we felt drawn to children there. There was no real reason, but then, um, after Russia shut down, we really were only open to countries that was a one trip country. We couldn't leave a child there again. So that's, that was our number one criteria in <laughs> selecting a country. And then um, really we found the child first. <laughs> that's how. And that happens a lot. A lot of, a lot of times families, um, there, there's websites with waiting children and things, especially with children with special needs. Yeah. Um, and, and so you sometimes that child finds you yeah. and that's how you select the country. Um, and then you find an agency that's working in that country that's, you know, reputable and stuff like that. And I, I, I bet a part of, you know, you choosing China afterwards also was because China also has a pretty stable program and oh, yeah. there, there was yes. a, less of a chance of, you know, some, you know, things getting a little hairy and, and you know, stable programs are good programs, you know, countries where they've done a lot of adoptions for a long time, um, are good. It's not to say that you can't try to adopt from a country that maybe is just starting their adoption programs and things like that. But you do need to understand that you may be a little bit of a guinea pig. You may, you know, um, not, your, your agency may not even know exactly how to handle every situation that's happening in that country. The agencies are not the country. You know, and you can have good agencies and you can have bad agencies, but you can have good agencies that are doing great work in a country and still have some real struggles. Mm -hmm. And so when you're evaluating even what agency you're going to use, I think sometimes it's good to find out how stable that country is so that if there is any negative, you know, comments about that agency or whatever, you may be able to weed out that, well, this might be actually the country that's the issue and not so much the agency. Not that agencies don't screw up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. But there are agencies that are better than other agencies. So, and some have, you know, better experience in certain countries too. So, you know, that's a good thing to look at as well. Some agencies are stronger in certain countries. So that's something to look at. And you yeah. may have an agency that may have a real maybe some real struggles in one country, but are really great in another country. Yeah, and so exactly. I, I think you, you just gotta be careful, you know, and, 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 and really ask around and then just get a feel. You just get a feel. And I think that's what a lot of it is. You know, you guys talked about selecting the country, but you really, you had a feeling for either the people, 
the the special need the whatever and 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 you move with that and you just but you do just kind of have to say this is the direction we're gonna go yeah you know